This video describes how to format your paper in MLA in Office 365. Starting in a blank Word document, go to the Layout tab and click Margins. They should be set to Normal, 1 inch on all sides. Next, change the spacing after from 8 point to 0 point. Last thing on the Layout tab, click the three dots to the right of Spacing After and then click Paragraph Options. Change the alignment to Left, change the line spacing to double, click OK. Let's add page numbers next. Go to the Insert tab, click Page Numbers, and choose the top right option to add page numbers to the right side of the header. Word is actually going to put in the page numbers for us, so we don't have to type any numbers, but we do need to type our last name and a space to the left of the page number. Then we're going to highlight our last name and the page number, and when the font pop-up appears, change the font to Times New Roman and 12 point. Once you're done, get out of the header by clicking in the main part of the page. If you ever need to get back into the header, click on the header tab at the top right of the page. It's important to note that in the editing view, you won't see your last name and page number at the top right of each page, but don't worry, they're there. If you go to the View tab and click Reading View, you'll see them. To start setting up the body of your paper, go to the Home tab and change the font to Times New Roman and 12 point. Start typing your heading information on the first line. It should not be indented, but should be double-spaced. First, type your first and last name. Click Enter to go down to the next line. Type your professor's name, hit Enter. Type your class and section number, hit Enter, and then type today's date. Write the date out MLA style. First the date, then the month, abbreviate it if it's longer than five letters, and then the year. Hit Enter once more. Click the Text Alignment menu and choose Align Center. Write your paper title. There shouldn't be any extra spaces between the date in your heading and the title of your paper. Write your paper title in headline capitalization. Capitalize all the important words. Hit enter once more. Go back to the text alignment menu and change it back to a line left. Start the first line of your paper here. The first line of each new paragraph should be indented half an inch. You can do this two ways. Hit the Tab key on your keyboard at the start of each new paragraph, or click the three dots More Options menu at the top right, mouse over Special Indent, and choose First Line so Word does it automatically. To set up your Works Cited page at this point, you can go to Insert and click Page Break to start a new page. Like the page numbers, it may be hard to tell there's a page break in the editing view, but you can flip to the reading view to see how it will look. The Works Cited page is always the last page of your paper and does not count towards a page limit if you have one. If you had changed the indentation to first line in the body of your paper, first change it back to none. Click the text alignment menu and select Center. Type Works Cited on the first line of the Works Cited page. If you are only citing one source in your paper, type Work Cited instead. Hit Enter once to go down to the next line. Go back to the Text Alignment menu and select Align Left. Go back to the Indentation menu and this time change the Special Indentation menu to Hanging. A hanging indent means every line of the citation except the first line is indented half an inch. It makes it easier to read the first part of the citations and find a specific citation in your Works Cited list. You can start typing your citations, but if you are pasting citations from a library database or citation generator, I recommend right-clicking and using the Paste Text Only option instead of Paste. That will keep your text in Times New Roman and 12-point font. If you just use Paste, you may have to go back, highlight the citation, and change the font and size back to Times New Roman 12-point, and maybe change the text color to automatic if it looks grayed out. One thing to notice if you're pasting in citations is that if you use the paste text only, things that need to be in italics in the citation, like the publication and database name, won't stay in italics. If you use paste, though, they will, though you still have to change the font size and text color. For help citing database sources in MLA, check out the Citing Database Sources page in our MLA Help Guide. If you have questions about MLA formatting, check out the Format a Paper page in the MLA Help Guide or contact a librarian. We look forward to hearing from you.